<laughs> Hello, gang. I'm sorry I'm late, but I've been... <laughs> all right, all right. Mr Slater had me giving out food at the duck pond. I wish he'd give me more responsible jobs. Maybe he thinks I'm stupid. Oh, not as stupid as the man that's just been on the inventions game, Richard. Hey, maybe I should go on the inventions game. Why? To prove to Mr Slater that I'm really clever so he'd give me better jobs. But, Sooty, I am not an inventor. You are? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, it's a great idea, Richard. Sooty will make a brilliant invention and you'll look like a genius. That'll show old grumpy trousers, Slater. This could be your big beak. I, I, I mean, break, break. What if Mr Slater doesn't watch the inventions game? He does. And how do you know that? <laughs> You've just sent him a text. What? Oh, now it's ringing. Oh, it's Mr Slater. Uh, hello, sir. You've just heard I'm going on the inventions game. Yes, so have I. I better win or I'll ruin the reputation of Slater's. And you'll give me the sack, but... but uh, oh, he's gone. Oh. Sometimes that bear drives me crackers. Shouldn't that be quackers, Richard? <laughs> Right, Sooty, let's have a look at your inventions, and they better be good. Allow you to introduce the great brain machine. Wow! Hey, just ask the machine one very hard question, and it will answer it. OK, are you ready? Yes. What's this? That was my very hard question. It was not my very hard question, smarty pants. Do you think I'm stupid? Ago, dinosaurs ruled the world. Now it's Simon Cowell. Oh, ouch! Morning. <laughs> Who is responsible for this dinosaur on the floor? Sooty, right. Now, Sooty. Don't do that. Oh, Richard, I made your porridge. Oh, thank you, Sue. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> no! What was that dinosaur doing on my seat? Waiting for his breakfast. Oh, very funny, smarty fans. Very funny. Well, you might laugh, but you know that dinosaur dig I was planning to take you this afternoon where they've discovered the new bones? Yes, bones? Well, that trip is cancelled, oh, thanks to all the silliness no. and mess that we've got to clear up. Oh. And if you'd like to excuse me, I have a very important meeting with Mr Slater. Oh, no! Just as soon as I am washed and dressed. Oh, what a terrible start to the day! If only we could start the day again, things might turn out differently. <coughs> Follow you to the tool shed? To the tool shed! <coughs> Machine. I've tidied up all the mess in there and I'm going now. Uh, what's going on in here? Top secret? Oh, charming. Screwdriver! <laughs> Screwdriver! <laughs> Spanner! Monkey wrench! Monkey wrench! <laughs> it's ready for a test! Follow you! OK. <laughs>
You've got a supersonic space ray gun? A <laughs> supersonic space ray gun? <laughs> well, that's not going to be any good. It's just a toy and how's like a... Don't do that! Sweep! Bring forth the loading ramp! Here, boy! You're trapping his little head! Take it away! Ow! Now it's on my fingers! Look, stand away, bone brain! I'll do it myself! There we are, Sooty. There's your little ramp. So this is it, is it? You're really off? Oh, Sooty, you be careful. I'm going to miss you. How will I know if you've landed on Mars safely? I can contact you via the satellite link. Oh, that's marvellous. All I need is some headphones with a microphone attached. Oh, go and fetch those then. Well, that's good. You oh, thank you very much. Well, let's just put them on. There we are. Oh, stop. Sooty, will you stop doing that? Thank you very much. T minus 20 seconds to blast off. Oh, so this is it. Goodbye, my brave little friend. Take care, Sooty. Is there anything I can do to help, Sue? Yes, Richard. Here's a list of the important questions you need to ask Sooty before we start to launch. You can talk to him once the satellite link goes live. Right. T minus 15 seconds. Are you receiving me over? Is there anything dangerous to report in the area? Let's prepare for blast off. Right. Oh, sweet, be careful. Stand by, Richard. Putting you through to Sooty. You're live. Uh, I'm over receiving this and I've done something dangerous in my area. Ready for blast off. Take me to your leader. Sooty, it's me, Richard. You've just left a twit on Earth called Richard. I am the twit on Earth called Richard. And as a matter of fact, you're still on Earth because your rocket hasn't gone anywhere. The rocket seems to have malfunctioned. No launch today. <laughs> Just launch the rocket, you bone brain! Where's it heading to, Sooty? Straight for Mr. Slater's portable toilet! Quick! Ready. Richard said he could do with another pair of hands to help him. 
Yes, he did. Well, so how is that keyboard going to help him? Hello, biggy, biggy, biggy. My name is Harry. How can I help you? Oh, my goodness, Sooty. You are clever. You're going to take it to help Richard? Good idea. Help Richard. Help Richard. <laughs> Oh, it's the phone. Oh, Mr. Slater. Hello, Mr. Slater. Um, what time did you say the inspector was coming again? Any minute now. Oh, no. I, I, I mean, oh, good. Yes, I'm ready. Oh, he's gone. I'm ready for the sack more like. Look at all this rubbish. What am I going to do? Ah! 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 Hello. 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 My name is Harry. I might have known you'd have something to do with this. Who's Harry? He's an extra pair of hands to help me clear up the rubbish. Oh, Sooty, thank you. So come on then, how does he work? You just type the instructions into the keypad and he follows it automatically. Wow, hey, come on then, let's see. I love Richard. 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 What? What's this all about? Kissy, kissy. <laughs>